Testing. Okay, mic works. All right. Uh, good morning. Uh, I just. This is uh this is an older. This is something I did yesterday. But uh, I forgot to, I forgot to record it today. But uh, I found another, yet another good question on Twitch forums. And again, I've. I've been starting to do a whole rash of these recently. It is I find it easier to just simply talk it out rather than have to go through the trouble of being being Mickey Spillane or Ann Rice or whatnot and have to sit here and spend like hours trying to type down one stinking paragraph, you know, and all that and I find it easier to just speak it than type it. Uh, but it was uh, another good question by Comac O oh, oh, I don't know how you pronounce that, but Quit. Best way to grow in the community, uh, which coming from uh, somebody who's uh, only been streaming for eight months, yeah, I looked at my very first stream video to <laughs> come to that answer, but so I'm uh, streaming for eight months. I got a grand total of uh, 21 followers, so probably not the super authority on this, but to give my answer to that. You keep doing it. You, you gotta, gotta get in there and stream. Um, I've said it before in other, in other videos, and I'll say it here. You can't hit the ball without swinging the bat. I mean, you, you could, you could sit here and just read forum after forum after forum. You can go on Google and get all the advice you need. You can you get all the equipment you need. You, 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 everything you could possibly need to get going. But if you don't do it, you're you're not you're not gonna I'm having trouble finding the right sentence for that so I'll leave that and I'll go on to something else um secondly as far as uh if somebody said do something that's truly unique that no one's ever seen before uh keep in mind that um uh thousands of people stream I mean tons of people st stream on twitch they're I mean they're not to mention they're in Hang on, I got off on the wrong foot on this. There's a whole boat ton of streamers on Twitch. You're gonna, you're gonna have to find something really, really, really unique that none of those thousands of other streamers have already done. That's why I say just get in and do it. I mean, yeah, quality matters to an extent. I mean, you're gonna need a webcam in there, one that's a, one that has decent quality. We need to be able to see who you are. Um, you're gonna need to get audio in there as obvious as that might sound but I've seen uh I've seen streamers that have like no sound whatsoever and even when I try to say something they doesn't get through to them you know and so I end up leaving them because they're totally mute because apparently they didn't care about care enough about their sound sound quality to you know pay attention but as I said before you can't hit if you don't swing that's probably the first big one. Get in there and do it. Um, I guess brain caught a fart. I could have just highlighted this question. I'm sure many have asked this, but I truly want to deliver the responsible content I can. But just consistent growth. <clears throat> well, there's the big obvious one. Actually, do it but again. I mean, yeah, you you know, there's probably things that you can learn from the rest of the guys in the forum post. I'll get to, I'll get down to them in a minute, in a minute. But uh, but again, the big one, get in there and do it. You know, I mean, oh, I'm not looking for a million followers overnight, and you're not gonna get it. I mean, you. Even for somebody like me that's been streaming for eight months, I only got 21 of them. So I mean, I'm, I'm probably not even scratched the surface. I'm pretty sure you're gonna find other people as they scroll on down. They're probably gonna say the same thing. I mean, you just keep at it. You know, I've been streaming for five years, and even I only have a hundred followers. You probably gonna hear that too. So, but. As I'm starting to babble and ramble and beginning to repeat myself, I'll just go on down the line. I think I already said my piece. Uh, 
Um, game choice? I'm kind of in the middle on that. Oh, I didn't see if I can figure out a good way to explain this. I mean, popular games have lots of viewers, but it, it's almost like fishing. I mean, yeah, this spot on the lake has the best fish, and that's where they're all congregating, but on the downside, that's where all the other fishermen are going to be. But I'm not, but yeah, you don't want to get you don't you don't want to fish with those guys because you're just gonna get lost in the shovel too much competition. But on the downside, if you fish over here, whether it, over here may not have any fish at all, but on the upside, none of the fishermen are over there, so you can fish in peace. So I guess um, game choice is kind of in there. It's just a matter of finding a finding the right balance between popularity and you know st streamer count. Um, trying to keep in mind also that uh, I also I stream a game called Pinball Arcade, a game that next to nobody streams on or that nobody checks out. So my theory on that: the few people that I actually do find on Pinball Arcade are actually the passionate ones. Or actually, to be honest, it's two of them. One um. One 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 practically follows me anywhere. The other one is in a pinball league, so he's got some uh, technical expertise on the game I'm playing. So bas basically, the few viewers that you get in those games are fanatical. So again, it's I guess it's uh, about striking a balance on that. Uh, step in building a stream is building a community uh, again I I think if anything you need to build follow, you need to build viewers first then build a community I mean again if nobody comes to your stream there's no community to build you know damn hard if you're sitting at the bottom of Twitch's top games no one will find you and if they do, you might be awkward and scare them off. And they, um, I've done this before. Just, <clears throat> you know, you you go through a whole night and, you know, nobody's talking to you. And then all of a sudden somebody shows up, you know, and look at them. Oh, hey, hey, wait, wait, what's up? Wait, hey, 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 welcome to the stream, man. Hey, how's it going? You know, you know so I've, I've been there before. Stream the game you love. It's there. I mean, personally, I would rather watch a streamer who's who actually likes the game he streams than a streamer who doesn't. Oh, I'm only on this. Oh, I only play this game here just because I'm trying to attract followers. I, I think the game's a piece of shit. But hey, to where the streamers are, and I have to go. You know, I have to go with the fisher biting. You know that kind of thing. I think the second factor that is is are you an awkward person um again th this kind of this kind of go goes back to what i said earlier you can't hit if you don't swing you could probably uh smooth out a lot of your awkwardness if you actually get in there and do it just start you know as the confidence builds up as you uh, get more and more comfortable talking to a microphone um one other unwritten rule when streaming talk as if no one talk even when nobody else is there and if you're a whatever whatever app or whatever whatever chat box you're using if it doesn't have a viewer count then that's a big plus because then you'll never know so if you hang out with friends or have an interest in sure you will do well on twitch because it's a platform that rewards charisma um, I could see it, but again, streaming is kind of different because you're not actually with your friends. You're with some people that are in your chat box talking to you. So the, the paradigm's a little different. My time in general talking to people, it doesn't mean you can and again, it's what I said at the start. Get in and do it.
You can probably smooth out a lot of that awkwardness if you can get comfortable and used to talking to a microphone. Study a lot of streams. Um, that I agree with. Be a be a viewer. Um, before I even started streaming, I was watching a lot of viewers. Actually, what got me into streaming was uh, AD, ADGQ, Awesome Games, or AGDQ, excuse me, Awesome Games Done Quick. Um, they just, <clears throat> why? I mean, watching all watching all those people uh, speed running those games, you know, streaming them, you know, which kind of got me intrigued. So I went on Twitch and then started watching other viewers, getting an idea as to how they do it. Um, I think the game I started with uh, was Diablo 2. Watching all the Diablo 2 streamers and, you know, what they do, don't do, whatnot. So, I could probably recommend that for you, too. Um, watch other streams before you start streaming yourself so you have some kind of source material to go on. get a degree and play alone and be a booby streamer that's I guess um this would also be a little this would also be a little turn off for me what would make me leave people's streams immediately is um if they got I mean if they got the tits all poofed up and all that and I mean if I wanted to watch that I'd I don't know I'd probably go on Pornhub or something or you know or Google Pamela Anderson naked or something, you know, something like that. I mean, I wouldn't have to go, wouldn't be going on Twitch to do that. He, he pretty much nailed that, too. Although, um, one thing about a larger streamers, um, dealing with large streamers is a lot like uh, shopping at Walmart. I mean, you can you can complain about the bad service or the bad products or whatnot, um, but you, for the most part, it's just going to go on one ear and out the other. You can complain to the ends of the earth, but unless you say class action lawsuit, you, they'll they'll give you they'll give you your due attention, but that's about it. I mean, they already have millions of dollars in profit coming in anyway, so I mean, one customer ain't going to make any difference. So just keep that in mind. You might say, I hate this stream. I'm leaving. Well, maybe shrug their shoulders and oh, no big deal. I already got 99,999 followers. So no sweat off my back. <clears throat> okay. This okay, this is just bad form right here. You're trying to do a giveaway with only two viewers. It, it, giveaway, I mean, at least for me, I, there's no way I could do this. Well, for one, I'm a ghetto streamer, so I don't have much to give away. But secondly, if nobody comes to your stream, then you're giving away to nobody. So that, that's just a waste of effort right there. Um, calling out lurkers. Um, I've had a few bad, I've made that mistake a few times, like back when I streamed on a PS4. Uh, it actually does tell you how many viewers you have. And um, the moment I would see that stream count go from, or viewer count go from zero to one, I'd be like, hey, welcome to the stream, bud. Seconds later, <laughs> it became a big fat zero afterwards. So yeah, don't call, don't call them out. All things are sometimes new. Sometimes it's this time of day of the stream. Um, this is probably one of my weaknesses as well. I work a, I work the graveyard shift, so I'm most likely going to be on either late at night or early in the morning. I'm seldom, if ever, on during peak hours. So hypnotics. Build value, build confidence, entertain the folks who come by. 
Sounds like it's uh, English is a second language. I don't. Unless he means uh, unless he means network and like you social media, then yeah, that's another thing that that's something else that also can help you social media because. Especially, especially true if you, well, hang on, I'm, I'm trying to think something up, but yeah, I'm all, but uh, I'm also big on social media as well, try to find a way to, try to find a way to post your streams and whatnot outside of Twitch, because I know, uh, pla platforms like Twitter and Facebook, they're, um, they're far more popular than Twitch is. They're seen by a lot more people than Twitch is. I mean, Twitch is only for gamers. So it... A smaller community than, uh, than Facebook and Twitter. It's card moderation term, Mr. Sorry if you get it. Networking, networking, and um, I'd also um, I kind of talked about this in uh, one of my other videos, but um, I guess uh, the first the first thing I'd probably also say, aside from uh, you can't hit if you don't swing, uh, don't be a dick. If you want to act that way in real life, or if you never act that way in real life, don't act that way in the when you're streaming. Cause uh, you could, I mean, you could be the most consistent guy in the world, but if you're still a jerk, I ain't gonna watch you. So, um, same with uh, if you're uh, if you're streaming one of my all-time favorite games like Pinball Arcade, if you're still a douchebag, I ain't gonna watch you. So I guess um, uh, I would place um, uh, I place personality and charisma, or like they're or kind of a nebulous term, but you get the idea. I place that over consistency. If nobody likes you, they ain't gonna watch you no matter how consistent you are. Excuse me. Um, that can help. But again, how can I put it? Kind of like what, kind of like what this country should do. Worry about you know, get yourself taken care of first before you start worrying about all things external. So, yeah. Um, I guess this would... I do this too. Uh, just keep in mind that when, uh, there's going to be a lot of retweeters on Twitter. I, I'm pretty sure a lot of times they don't even pay attention to who it is they're actually retweeting. It's just uh, they're practically they're practically bots. So I mean nothing against them personally. I mean they are getting you out there. But just just keep that in mind. Post and tag the game you're playing. Yeah, now that I think about it, I think I have more followers on on Twitter than I do on Twitch. So now that I think about that, then yeah, you most certainly want to go on Twitter, uh, possibly Facebook. I steer clear of that one. Just not a fan. I'll try to oversaturate games. It's it's yep. I'm gonna highlight more of this. It's like I said earlier, it's just like fishing. I mean, this spot might have the best fish, but that's where all the fishermen are gonna go. So you need to find a balance somewhere, you know. You know, you need to find a place where you're still getting some fish, but not so much fish that other fishermen start coming over there and chiseling in your or muscling in on your racket, so to speak. Uh, 
Um, ne never done it. I know about it. But, um, but I definitely agree with it. It's, um, uh, Pony.com is a website that focuses on small streamers. I'm, I, I have it figured out in my head, but I can't, it's hard for me to put it into words, but I'm trying to think. It, it I want to, it's a, it's a gaming website within a gaming website. That, that's the best way I, that's the best way I can explain it. It's not a, I don't, I don't think it's a rival of Twitch. Or I don't think it's, it's not like a, screw it, screw it, I'll just go on. I feel like I'm playing $20,000 Pyramid right now. Um, I did a whole video on this a long time ago, but I guess the short version, network, networking helps, but it also depends on who it is you're talking to. I mean, again, it, I don't, I don't really remember what it was I said, but I'm one of those that, uh, I have just as many reasons for leaving somebody else's streams. As I you would for leaving mine, so it is key if you can find a if you can find a streamer you actually like and actually want to, you know actually want to hang out with, then yeah that can help. But the vast majority of the time, I'm more I'm more likely to leave somebody's stream than to stay on it. Like I said, I've got a whole I've got a whole bunch of things that make me leave other people's streams. So it I hardly ever network anymore. There's like maybe. I know there's probably one person that I would probably watch. Uh, there might be a few more here and there, but for the most part, I, I just come and go. I come on someone's stream and I find, oh, something sucks, you know, oh, this sucks, and pew, off I go. Talking to other small, okay. This one I do. This is what I do by default as well, and I think you should too. Start at the bottom. Uh, like I said before, the the super popular streamers are already so well established. They already have a hundred thousand followers. There's, you know, they got. I don't want to say sponsorship. They got donation money coming in. They probably, they practically work from home now. So I, you're probably gonna be seeing, if anything, more. As, you'll be seeing more as a as a customer than you will as a viewer. You know, so they're again, and uh, if you say you know if you say something they don't like, they pretty much have the power. They have the power, so they can they could basically call you out. I actually had that happen once. Now that I remember, I don't remember the girl's name, but it was uh, Final Fantasy fourteen. Apparently, I must have asked a stupid question. I don't remember what it was, but uh, she said uh, she said something like. Um, I guess I suppose you could do that. Um, I don't know. I've never been asked that question before. And <clears throat> so I, one of the one of the other chatters, I think she tried to, she didn't answer my question, but I think I got a, I got some lols. I got some, basically talking to me like I'm a little kid or I'm a, I'm a retard or something. So, in those kind of situations, that's one of the reasons why I just avoid them. Um, hosting people. I used to do this. Uh, problem. If you can get it to work for you, go for it. Because that's enough. That to me, that constitutes networking. It's another good way to do it. Um, problem with me on that. Because if I'm trying to, when I go on and I'm trying to stream myself, it'll. I'll for some reason I'll still be hosting that other person and streaming at the same time. I don't. I don't understand why it does that, but I had a, I had to actually go on the my hosting options and turn it off, like turn it off completely in order for me to stream. So, it, 
I don't do it anymore. Um, have a set schedule. Um, that it helped. Have a set schedule. Having a set schedule can help. Um, but if you have a set schedule, and if if you think that if you're, excuse me, if nobody's still visiting you, despite the fact that you, for whatever reason, you think they should, then it's probably it's probably you and not. Not the, not the schedule you set. Uh, be active with chat. Talk a lot. At least with me, this can act, This is one of the things that actually causes me to leave people, leave people streams. I mean, I, I don't, I want, I don't like silent people, especially if you have a microphone and I can hear your breathing. But if you're not saying anything, that's a turn off. But on the other hand, on the flip side, I've also had a. I've also seen streamers just blah 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 just I mean nonstop diarrhea running at the mouth running off at the mouth just continually chatting away. I mean that's also a turn off. Um I've also seen uh I've seen a few streamers that act like Tony Little. Like they just hey man, what's up? They're like Tony Karras back and they're wild and wild and friendly. Hey man, what's up? Hey, how you doing? How's the nice weather what happened? They're just going all crazy because you know they're they're scared as hell that you're just gonna up and leave their channel so they just gotta keep you know it's like they're trying to force you to stay trying to keep the conversation going I mean that's also a turn off so <coughs> um um yeah sure I I'd like them to define a community page but um one thing I do do when streaming Final Fantasy XIV is uh, I, po I post on the uh, Lodestone blog. So I I don't know if you'd call that a community page, but that it's there. I eventually someday I'm probably gonna I'm on a sometimes I'm on a, sometimes I'm on a forum called Pinside, and it's got an option on there where you can uh, you can post your story, but I don't know if you can. Excuse me. I don't know if you could post pinball videos or anything like that, but I haven't, I haven't done it yet. Cause already, I mean, cause already as it is, a good chunk of my time is being spent back at one streaming and two trying to type down a lodestone blog. That could, that could probably take me uh, at least an hour, unless it's on a work day. Then I got to kind of half-ass it and just give a short description, but. Um, yeah, I have nothing really to comment on that. Most of it goes over my head. Like I said, I don't have, like I said, I've been streaming for eight months and I've only got about 21 followers on Twitch. So I'm not, not really in much of a position to contribute on that. Oh, well, I guess that's, I guess that's it. Um. Okay, so I'll just go ahead and uh, go ahead and call that good. Uh, well, can't think of anything else to say. We've made it this far. Thanks for watching, and until next time, take care.